This is Jupiter Today for the 13th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west, moving towards its western elongation. Europa starts the day in quadrant one, heading east, Ganymede is in quadrant 4 heading east, going to be moving behind Jupiter soon. And Callisto spends most of the day in quadrant 3 heading west, moving towards its western elongation. At 6 hours UTC, Io is now in quadrant 4 heading east after moving past its western elongation. Europa and Ganymede continue in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede has now moved behind Jupiter. At 10.12 UTC, Io goes through an apogee, the furthest distance it'll be from Jupiter in its orbit. And that's 423,537.9 kilometers. And at 12 hours UTC, Leo is still in quadrant 4, heading east. Europa still in quadrant 1, heading east, going to be getting near its eastern elongation. And by 18 hours UTC, Io has moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa has gone past its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 2, heading west. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is pretty much at its eastern elongation. Going to be moving into quadrant two, heading west. Europa is firmly in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede still in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto has gone past its western elongation and is now in quadrant four. Going to be slowly heading east. There are four Jupiter satellite events today. At 2.33 UTC, Ganymede moves behind Jupiter. At 6.52, Ganymede reappears from behind Jupiter's shadow. At 12.56, Io moves behind Jupiter. And at 15.24 UTC, Io reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. There's one satellite mutual event today. And that goes from 2157 to 2202 UTC when Europa occults Ganymede. It's a five minute event, but a very shallow one. An estimated magnitude flux drop of just 0.019 magnitudes. But the distance is fairly decent at 181.44 arc seconds from Jupiter. And the visibility of this event is all of Europe, all of Africa. Orbital ribbons today. There's the connection between Io and Europa. And Io and Ganymede. Io and Callisto. And then Europa and Ganymede. And Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then combine them all and colorize them a little bit. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds, so we can see all the stars as we rapidly rotate around. In a 24 hour period, Jupiter spins on its axis about a couple times. Ganymede just popped out of Jupiter's shadow there.
Here goes Eo in front of Ganymede. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 3.16 and the second at 13.12 UTC. There were no new images and no new radio data and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 17 minutes, 23.7 seconds and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 47 minutes, 23.1 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 172.797 degrees, and that's 1.131 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 1.332 degrees, and that's 0 0.208 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 651,243,863 kilometers, and that's 292,780 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 12,199.17 kilometers per hour, moving away from one another. And that's 1,964.92 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 797,978,056 kilometers. And that's 45,997 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,916.54 kilometers per hour, moving away from one another. And that's 1.62 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 12.29 degrees, CM2, 339.68 degrees, CM3, 249.87 degrees. So please subscribe and thank you for subscribing hope you are enjoying and appreciating the information that i'm providing try to give a different perspective on the jupiter system so we can better understand what's going on up there so you can send your comments and questions and suggestions and your images to the email shown and until tomorrow I bid you peace.